No, I'm just kidding. The avocado toast was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't the best I've made better in my day. I was also thinking about it. Every time I film these videos, these day in the life videos, I always, I'm always making avocado toast for breakfast. I swear I eat other stuff in my days. I'm not sure why that always happens. But anyways, welcome to the video. My name is Steven. I'm a first year dental student. Today is going to be a vlog of my day and in my life as a first year dental student. I'm going to be taking you through all of the things that I do today. Of course, we're still in the COVID situation and so school is at home. So I'll be here at this desk most of the day, but today is going to be interesting. We've got a couple of of extra things that, that, that are going on. I first have a physiology conference on Zoom that's gonna be happening. And then I have, I'm gonna be working on a bunch of anatomy lectures and trying to get through all of the anatomy block that we're currently learning. And then I will be doing some work for boot camp, the project that I'm currently working on, the dental anatomy tooth ID course that I'm creating is going to be happening. So I'll show you a little bit of that. And then I also have some clinic time in the lab. I'll be working on occlusion and some extra time for operatives. So there's gonna be plenty of, of cool things happening today. I'm also gonna try to get a workout in. Jam-packed day, tons of stuff to do. So I'm excited to bring you along with me. And uh, let me just show you really quickly the schedule. So here's the schedule for today. And this isn't really everything, but the important things are this physiology conference at 10 o'clock. It's currently 8.14 and then the physiology quiz, and then I have occlusion lab at three o'clock. So that lab, I believe, goes three to eight because we have extra time. So I'll be able to bring you in there and uh, introduce you to some of my classmates and actually vlog in the lab, which I haven't really done before. So sun's kind of trying to peek out out there, but it's still pretty, pretty overcast. So I just want to show you what I'm kind of looking at in anatomy right now. This is a big portion of the lecture that I'm going over. And it's essentially the mandibular nerve and the branches of the mandibular nerve. So mandibular nerve is V3, the uh, third portion of the trigeminal nerve, one of the, the fifth cranial nerve. And this is all of the different stuff that it does in its path. So it branches into all of these different things. So there's that. I've been working on my Anki cards for a while now. Let me flip. Yeah, so I've been working on my Anki cards for a while now, and now I'm going to transition into uh, my physiology small group conference. It is 9.27, so about 9.30, and the conference starts at 10. So there's a little bit of prep that I need to do for that. I need to go in and take a look at my group and then my discussion questions. This particular portion of, of physiology is the cardiovascular system. Um, we just finished up with the respiratory system, so we're kind of moving on to the heart. And so that's what we'll be discussing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep for that and then hop on Zoom and join the meeting. Okay, so I just checked and my small group conference is actually at 11, not 10. So I have a lot more time than I thought to to prep, which means I am gonna do this prep for this conference and just make sure I've looked at the question, but I'm also gonna go back and, and keep working through my Anki. So uh, it just pays to, pays to check the schedule. <laughs> Okay, so that small group conference is over. I <laughs> I get why we do them, but they're just very difficult to do over Zoom because, you know, everybody has a bad connection and it's hard to hear what people are saying. And these are just the types of exercises that work better in a classroom when everyone's together. But that's obviously not what we have right now. So I'm really feeling like kind of tired of doing work at this point, but I need to finish up the discussion questions and turn them in for physiology here. And then I'm going to let myself have a nice workout to kind of get away from the desk because I'm definitely feeling a little bit burnt out right now. So let me get those turned in and then I'll catch back up with you. I'm 
honestly not sure if I would be able to get through dental school without exercising because especially with COVID and not leaving like my apartment at all really other than labs, I just would get to the point where I would be so tired of just sitting in here studying that I would go nuts. And so for me, exercising is the best way to get out of my apartment and to move around and to just do something other than what I do back here. So that's sort of my mentality. It makes me feel so much better and I'm such a big proponent of it. So with that being said, I'm gonna go down to the gym, do a little bit of shoulders and maybe, I don't know, something else, another muscle group, and then try to get a run in. Haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do the treadmill or try to go outside. I'm also tired of the treadmill, so we'll just have to see. So I just finished a basic upper body workout. Um, started out as shoulders and I ended up being sort of everything. And uh, it's cold outside. So I'm gonna run in here on the treadmill and not outside in the freezing cold rain. So that's the update. So I wanna quickly show you here what I'm doing for my lunch. Um, pretty simple arugula salad. Got the arugula here, and then I've got a bunch of chicken that I made up a few days ago. Some bell peppers, yellow and orange, some grape tomatoes, a little bit of feta cheese, and then the, the go-to bolt house. This is the creamy Caesar. Easy little salad and a great nutritious lunch. So heading to campus real quick, and it's super nice because I live like a minute and a half from, from campus if I make the lights. But I'm gonna get in there, get into the lab, work on my waxing project a little bit. We're doing a posterior wax up on our articulators and occlusion, and then I will do some extra time operative. So I'll see you in a second. Let me get this guy here. Hey, Laner. Going. <laughs> Say hey to YouTube. Hey YouTube, what's up? <laughs> All right, so here's the setup. I'm in occlusion lab right now. I've got my articulator here. We're doing posterior wax up project, and this is the wax, the waxer, and I got my monitor up here. Try to figure out what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. So that's the setup. So this is what I'm trying to create here. I'm trying to get that. Here, this is my mandibular cast. See, I busted the incisal edges off of those incisors there, of course. And uh, so I'm very early on here. So essentially what we're trying to do is to get the teeth to fit together by creating the entire occlusal surface in wax. So that's what's happening. So occlusion lab is usually pretty relaxed. Um, operative is, is the other lab that we have <laughs> and it is very much not relaxed. Feels like a feels like a war every time we come in here. So um, the vibe in Occlusion Lab is usually pretty nice, and uh, everyone's pretty relaxed. I'm gonna get back to work here, and uh, maybe in a second we'll go check on Lane, see what he's up to.
So these red dots here that I've created, these are essentially simulating the cusp tips of the teeth. And what you want is you want them to be able to come in and occlude and work like that. So trying to get all those cusp tips to occlude into their correct location on the maxillary teeth. Once I get that dialed in, I can move on to essentially what will look like marginal ridges with yellow wax. I may be critical here. You getting a lot of work done here, boys? Oh well, my goodness, look who it we're is. We're trying to assess Hunter's work here and Abby's work. Student Dr. Smith, thank you. Thousands of views on this prep, so it better be good. Uh, it does, it looks really good. This, Hunter, is, this is number four. One, one, piece, day. one piece of advice for pre-dentals. Pre-dentals. Yeah. Consistency, a study. Also, oh, I thought he was going to keep it at one word. I was like, wow, that's clean. Consistency. <laughs> Sorry, you can cut that right. <laughs> uh, I'd say the biggest advice would probably be, I wish I did, was like, learn more about what you're looking at when you shadow. Because yes. I had no idea what I was looking at. And because I didn't know what I was looking at then, I what, still had no idea what I was right, looking at now. Right. Yeah. So, right. No, I ask a lot of questions, watch YouTube videos when you shadow. All right. Good stuff, boys. So that's about all I want to get done for occlusion. I'm going to go ahead and go down to my locker now and get some stuff for operative and get some work done for that class because I have like a few more preps that I need to get cut and then I'll be finished. So let's do that. All right, so check this out. This is the outline form of the number three prep that I'm about to do. So my type of dont is dammed up here and you can see the the prep that I'm going to cut. So let's, got my guy set up here. Got all my instruments. The boys are watching. Alright, so that's gonna do it for this lab. I got some good waxing done and then cut a number three MO, which turned out extremely average as I tend to do it. Um, but I'm gonna go home and get a little bit of work done for boot camp and then I will be finishing up this day. So let's head home. All right, so I am back here at my place now and I just wanted to make a quick point about filming in lab. I'm still super uncomfortable with like filming myself in lab. I don't really know why. I'm trying to kind of get out of my comfort zone and, and just force myself to do it more. Um, but hopefully I continue to get more comfortable with that as time goes on. I'm about to do some work for Bootcamp. Once again, this is bootcamp.com, the website or the company that, that came up with DAT Bootcamp. And I'm currently an employee working for them, creating an online course in dental anatomy and tooth ID. So I wanted to show you this, the setup here really quickly uh, before I start to film. Uh, also got a little bit of photo editing going on, but I'm currently about to film a video for the series on the Maxary Central Incisor. And this is what the setup looks like. I've got my microphone here, the Rode Video Mic Pro, which is not currently on the camera because it's set up for the video. That's connected to this arm, which goes back down to the desk over here. And then I've got this Zoom H1N, which is recording my audio for those videos. And that's clamped to the side of the desk as well. Then I've got the video light up here in the corner of the room. And then the tripod where this camera that I'm currently filming on will go. So in total, here is the setup for my tutorial videos and my podcast. And it's working out quite well. So I'm gonna get to work filming this video for, for boot camp, And after that, I'll just kind of continue to do some Anki cards and get a little bit more done for the day. But this is actually where I'm gonna leave you all. I'm sure that this vlog has gotten to be pretty long at this point, but I appreciate you all for watching. I appreciate you all for coming along to see what a day in my life is like. Uh, this was a little bit more informal, a little bit more of me just kind of showing you the ins and outs of my days. 
A lot of my days are pretty similar. This one had a few differences and that's why I thought it would be a good one to show. But dental school can get pretty repetitive uh, when you're studying every day and you're doing kind of the same things. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you feel inspired to go check out some of the other videos that I've put out on my channel. Make sure that you subscribe to sort of stay tuned for everything that I've got coming out. I'm uploading videos at least once weekly. So there's plenty of content to, to go around and plenty of fun things to come in the future. I look forward to seeing you all again here on the channel. That's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you all again. I will see you soon.